Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about what you should do in high school if you're looking to go to medical school or to pharmacy school. So I'm a pharmacy school student. So my perspective is from pharmacy school, but back when I was in college and high school, I wanted to go to medical school. So basically, these things that you do in high school will get you to either medical school or pharmacy school. Um, it's kind of the same path before you get into college. So follow these recommendations. Um, I used to be a high school teacher as well. I used to teach chemistry. I taught for four years. I was a high school chemistry teacher. So um, I really know what you need to do in high school um, to make sure that you're getting into the college you want to do and to the college that you want to go to and you're getting to that future that you want to have. So these are my recommendations. Of course, it's just my recommendations. If you don't want to do any of these things, don't do it. Um, if you have different ideas, do what you want to do. But these are what I recommend that you do if you want to go to a pharmacy school or medical school in the future. So let's get into it. Okay, so of course, the first thing I'm going to talk about is your classes. So in high school, you can always do standard honors or AP at most, if not all high schools. Um, so I'll just kind of talk about the perspective from the high school that I taught at, but um, I know most schools in the United States are pretty similar. So you might have a few classes that aren't offered at your school or some more that are, but for just the sake of the video, I'm going to talk about standard honors and AP. If you want to go to medical school or pharmacy school, you're probably a very intelligent individual anyways. So you really want to take as many honors classes as you can um, for your core courses. Now, if you're somebody who knows, like I'm not a super smart math person, I know that if I take like honors pre-calc or something, I might not pass it, then that's okay, take standard. Um, but they really like to see that you challenged yourself and got a B or a C rather than took a standard class and didn't challenge yourself and you got an A. So kind of think about that before you sign up for classes, but don't pack your schedule with so many honors and AP courses that you overwhelm yourself and you just can't handle it. Um, you really need that balance because you need to do stuff other than take your classes as well. Your classes that you really need to take in high school. Okay, you really need to take your chemistry, obviously, your biology. Um, I highly recommend physics because once you get to college, if you're gonna go to medical school or pharmacy school, you're probably gonna take a physics course at some point. Um, so I really recommend you take those three. Not all high schools require you take all those three. I taught in Florida, so we, re we required biology as a graduation requirement, and that was it. So you needed four sciences, but biology was the only required one. Um, but if you wanna go to these schools, you need biology, you need chemistry, highly recommend physics. Um, and then once you get those out of the way, you have you know kind of your other options for um, your AP classes or your electives that you can take. So um, after you take those core classes, and again, physics, recommendation, you don't have to, but I, I would. Um, you also can take like an AP biology course. If you want to go to medical school, I highly recommend AP bio. Um, if you want to go to pharmacy school, I highly recommend AP chemistry. Um, again, be smart about it. Like if you know that the teacher at your school sucks and let's be real, sometimes they do. Okay. If you know they suck in your school and you know you're going to fail it, then don't take it. Okay. Take another one. But if you think like, Oh, they're pretty good. Like I think I can pass it. You know, you put in your hard work, do it. If you have like an anatomy and physiology class, that would be a great one to take as well as an elective. Um, what else did my school offer? I wouldn't take like a marine science or something like super low level um, because they really only offer those courses for the kids who really struggle to pass a science class to graduate. Those are really what those courses are for. So I wouldn't take a really low level science unless your school just doesn't offer the APs. Um, even taking anatomy, I would take it honors if it's offered to you. You wanna do as many honors as you can because you really wanna get that GPA up. Um, let's see, as far as math, I would take as high as you're kind of able to. Um, so nowadays, I know a lot of my students would take Algebra 1 and Geometry in middle school and they would start high school at Algebra 2, which was not a thing when I was in high school, but apparently I was born in like the Middle Ages or something. Do what you can. If you're not super good at math, then, you know, just follow like a standard track, but I would try to do an honors one. So if you're, you know, maybe a year behind your friends, 
but you're in honors and you're doing well, it's that's fine. I would do that. There's no like race to get to Calc 2 in high school. Like you don't need to, especially because high school APs are like way harder than college classes, just saying. For your other courses, like if you're, if you know you want to go to medical school or pharmacy school, don't freak out taking all your, a like all your classes AP, like AP English, AP History. If you know that's not your direction, why stress yourself out, okay? Now, if you're somebody who like bats an eye and gets an A, like, then that's fine. Do as many, you know, AP classes as you want to. But um, if you're somebody who you're like, okay, should I take AP Chemistry or AP um, English Lit? Okay, I would take the Chemistry if that's the direction you're going in. So that's just my recommendation. Again, do whatever you want. It's your, your schedule. But it's going to look better at colleges and it's going to help you out better in the long run. Uh, shadowing. I highly, highly recommend that when you're in high school, you shadow a doctor, a pharmacist, whichever route you want to go to. If you want to go to dental school, you have to shadow a dentist. Um, even if it's just like one day shadowing or a couple hours. Um, because that will really give you, for one, a sense of do I actually want to do this or is this a really bad idea? Because you're still so young, like you can really choose your path whichever way you want to go once you get into college and you start getting further into your classes it's harder to change your direction that's why i graduated college in five years and then discovered after like a year of working in my field that i hated it so um yeah decide young it'll help you you definitely want to shadow okay i would shadow like as many i mean if you're on the fence between medical school or pharmacy school shadow both Shadow in different settings. See the different options that are available to you. That's really going to help you out. Um, or volunteer. If you can volunteer at different kind of events that have to do with medicine or pharmacy, that would be really awesome. It gives you exposure. It gets you to meeting people. Um, and, of course, we're going to put that on our college applications, which looks really good. And a lot of times you can get you know scholarships when you have a lot of volunteer work and stuff like that. So you definitely want to shadow. You definitely want to volunteer. Those are really important not only for like your future, but to put on your college application, which I know we're all really, really wanting to pad with some good stuff. Okay, extracurricular activities. So I would not stress yourself out with like 5,000 extracurricular activities that mean nothing to you. Um, because you're gonna have like your plate spread so thin, you're not gonna have time to devote to everything. Your classes are gonna suffer. It's just gonna be a mess. So I would pick like a cup, like a few, like one or two, um, extracurriculars that you're really into and focus on those and focus on your schoolwork. Um, just try not to spread yourself too thin because a lot of my students would do that and then all of a sudden everything would just fall apart. Like all their grades would start to fall, they would you know get in trouble with their parents, it was always just a mess. So pick a couple extracurriculars that you're really into and if you want to go to medical school or pharmacy school I highly recommend like a pre-med club if your school has that or an honor society, like National Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, um, Beta Club, a lot of schools have that, different like volunteering kind of clubs, highly recommend those, um, because again, those are all things that you can put on your college applications too, but it gets you exposure and seeing different things. Um, sports are great, because they make you really well-rounded, and they like to see people who are very involved in different things outside of medicine because it really makes you a well-rounded person. So um, look into those things. I would definitely do something. Don't just like focus on school and that's it. You really need to have some extracurriculars for one as an outlet for yourself, but so that you have that on your application as well. Okay, so I was going to talk about test scores. Once you get to applying to medical school or pharmacy school, they don't care about your SAT or ACT scores from high school but it's a stepping stone. You need good SAT and ACT scores to get into a good four year university so that you could get your degree if that's what you wanna do. Some schools don't require a degree, so look, look at that first. But if you wanna get you know your degree, you need good SAT, ACT scores. And then you need to take your PCAT or your MCAT, depending on which school you wanna to go to, and apply to your school. So do well in your SATs and ACTs. I would study and, and do well so that you can get into a good for your college but if you're someone who knows that you're going to go to a community college for a couple years and then transfer or just go to a community college take your prereqs and apply to pharmacy school then you don't even need to take it so make sure you do your research that's like the biggest thing that you can do because then you're really going to guarantee that you're on the right path so like i was just talking about you really need to do your research okay so if you're like i want to go to medical school that's it i know 100 i've shadowed i volunteered i see what it's about i got this Research different medical schools. Find out which ones you are going to want to apply to. 
make a list of all the courses that you're going to need in college um, so that you don't miss any of them. Okay, and then just make sure that you really do everything that you need to do to get into those schools. Don't be caught, you know, blindsided and be like, oh my God, like I really should have done this, this, and this in college to get into the pharmacy school of my dreams. And I didn't even like think about it, you know, whatever. Make sure you research it. Um, research whether or not your medical school accepts um, prerequisite courses to be taken at a community college because sometimes they don't and that can really mess you up. So big thing is to do research on what schools you want to go to and what their requirements are, if there are any, you know, fine print, any stipulations as to what courses they accept over others. Um, also, make sure you research whether or not that school requires a four-year degree or not because um, I know a lot of pharmacy schools, they don't require a bachelor's degree. They just require that you take the prereqs and then you apply. Um, some medical schools are different, so again, do your research. That's really gonna help you in the long run. Okay guys, those are all the tips I have for what you should do in high school if you're planning on going to medical school or pharmacy school. Um, these are not the end all be all. You know, you can take other courses. Um, you cannot take those courses and then just, you know, kind of do your best in college. It's all about just doing well in college so that you can get into those schools because medical school and pharmacy school does not look at your high school transcripts or anything like that. So that's kind of all up to you. Do you want to, you know, work hard now or do you want to kind of wait? I wouldn't wait, that's your decision. So that's all I have. If you have any questions or suggestions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Um, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.